Historical revisionism sure does seem to be sweeping the nation these days. Monuments of Confederate generals are being defaced and toppled, and left-wing activists seem to be increasingly turning their eyes to America's founding fathers. Statues of Thomas Jefferson have been vandalized at my alma mater, the University of Virginia. The Charlottesville City Council voted to cut Jefferson's birthday as a paid holiday, and now the Board of Education in San Francisco, California has voted to cover a mural of George Washington, the first president and a founding father of the nation. Let's take a look. San Francisco's Board of Education decided to paint over this mural showing George Washington, along with a dead Native American and an enslaved African American. Ironically enough, the school where this artwork is showcased is named George Washington High School. Mark Sanchez, vice president of the board, said, We believe students shouldn't be exposed to violent imagery, that it's degrading. And California State American Indian Studies professor Jolie Proudfit said, It is time to erase the dominant narrative of the dead and defeated Native American. It is important that our public schools are a place for all students to learn and be educated in a safe environment. Okay, so I guess it's one thing to object to violent imagery, but it's quite another to question the factual validity of that imagery. The school's still going to be a safe environment, Jolie. The mural can't attack people. And you can't just discount history you don't like by calling it a narrative. That kind of thinking probably undermines your students' ability to learn. And what's really ironic about this cultural Marxist mindset is that, in this case, it's targeted at a mural that definitely isn't pro-Washington and was apparently painted by Viktor Arnatov, a Communist Party member. San Francisco, or San Francisco, also just might have some LGBT protesters on its hands if it covers up the whole mural. One of the panels apparently features a rainbow. San Francisco State Professor Robert Cherney mentioned that the vote happened during Pride Month, so if they cover up that picture too, the real angle on this story is homophobic, anti-liberal California city paints over a communist portrait and a rainbow. Not so woke now, are we? For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.